Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Lane. I spent 30 years as a medical oncologist, directing a cancer center and a hospice and doing clinical research. Taking what I've learned from my patients, I've written two books to help cancer patients navigate the menagerie of the medical system and the turmoil of their own terrified feelings. They tell me that they are fighting a battle on two fronts against two enemies. One they can see, feel, and measure, called cancer in their bodies, and another invisible enemy they can only sense in the dark. One eloquent patient named that enemy the dragon. That may sound pretty melodramatic, but it's an apt face on an enemy which many people describe, from bank presidents to truck drivers, from grandmas to co-eds. I hear them describe this enemy that affects their everyday lives. Stick with me here now. This is really important. Doctors go after the cancer cells in your body with things you can at least somewhat understand, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. But those don't work against the dragon. It attacks your life with a psychological warfare aimed at your emotions, mind, and spirit. And you are all on your own. The dragon cannot kill you with claws of fear, anger, denial, or guilt. But it can so disable you that you can't fight the cancer well. The fear dragon has many faces and voices that can be hard to recognize and it can sneak into your life unseen at first and wreak havoc if you're not prepared to deal with it. You can't kill it and it never leaves, but you can defeat it. If you don't, it will haunt you the way PTSD haunts soldiers even after the battle is done and won. The more you know about your adversary, the better your chances of defeating it are. That is why doctors do so much research on every behavior of cancer cells to find the ways that they can block it and defeat it. Now you need to understand the adversary of your life, the dragon, and equip yourselves with the weapons to defeat it. These diaries will help you do just that. And when you do, your life will likely be better than it has ever been. It is for Sue. I met her in a coffee shop to follow up on how she was doing with her cancer. She had had an extensive uterine cancer and had undergone aggressive surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. I asked her, how's it going, Sue? And with a smile, she responded, I'm out two years, doing great. I might even be cured. Then she ducked her head and looked over her shoulder and whispered, but the dragon is always behind the door. Whoa, I said, tell me about that. And she replied, it's not always there, but it shows up at the darndest times, sometimes in the middle of the night or just when happiness is breaking out. There it is, always a spoiler. Tell me some more, I said. It's all those voices in my head saying, your time is going to run out. You might miss out, and what if? What if? What if? In the diaries to follow, you will meet some regular people who ran or are still running amazing bell laps and defeating the dragon. They will tell you how they do it. I call them the wind runners. For more details, these books are available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and many bookstores. In the future episodes of the Bell Lap Diaries, wind runners will share their insights in dealing with cancer. <laughs>